Hi, I'm Jessica from House Sweet Eats, and today I'm sharing with you a recipe from my new cookbook, The Pretty Dish, a French onion grilled cheese sandwich. This grilled cheese is just to die for. It has all the flavors of French onion soup. It has that toasty bread, the melty Gruyere cheese. We're gonna caramelize onions. We're gonna use sourdough bread. We're gonna make a homemade thyme butter to cook it all in. It is just so, so, so good. So to start, we're gonna melt some butter and caramelize our onions. I sliced up one large sweet onion. I'm gonna add it to the melted butter and I wanna let it cook for 20 to 30 minutes just until it naturally caramelizes. Okay, so our onions are in the pan. We wanna cook them low and slow. That way the natural sugars will help caramelize them. They'll get super soft, sweet, caramely, golden, just absolutely wonderful for inside our sandwich. While these are cooking, we're gonna make a thyme butter. I have softened butter here. Now, I'm gonna add a little bit of dried thyme. If it's the summertime and you have fresh thyme growing in your garden, that's excellent, add that. I'm gonna add just a little pinch of dried thyme and mix it all together to create this delicious thyme butter that we're gonna spread on the outsides of our bread. So our onions have been caramelizing for like over half an hour. This is so worth it, you guys. It gives so much flavor to the onions. It's gonna bring so much flavor to the grilled cheese. I'm gonna sprinkle in a little pinch of thyme just to bring everything together since we made that thyme butter. And then I'm gonna transfer the onions to a bowl and we're gonna cook the grilled cheese right in the same skillet. So now that our onions are finished caramelizing, we're gonna build our sandwich. I love to use sourdough bread for this recipe. It just adds like another element of flavor. I'm gonna spread the thyme butter on the outside of the bread slices. I spread the thyme butter on the outside of the bread slices. Now we're gonna fill the insides with the Gruyere cheese and the caramelized onions. I grated an entire block of Gruyere cheese and I like to make sure that it's on both sides of the bread because it kind of acts like glue and holds everything together. So I'm gonna take one slice, put the shredded cheese on top, and then we're gonna add a big pile of the caramelized onions. I'm gonna add another sprinkling of cheese and then put our bread slice on top. This is like a completely loaded, crazy grilled cheese sandwich. Now I'm gonna carefully transfer it to the skillet. I like to cook the grilled cheese sandwiches kind of low and slow. That way, the outside of the bread gets really golden, toasty, crunchy, crispy, but the inside of the cheese gets all melty and delicious. We got one side all toasty and golden. I'm gonna go ahead and carefully flip it in the skillet, toast up the other side. It looks crunchy, crispy, golden, buttery, amazing. The cheese is oozing everywhere. I'm gonna take it out of the skillet, set it on the cutting board, let it rest for a few minutes before slicing into it. Not only does this look amazing, it smells so good. The caramelized onions, the thyme butter, the sourdough bread, the Gruyere cheese. Oh my gosh, this grilled cheese looks absolutely unreal. I cannot wait to dig into it. I hope you guys give it a try. You can find this recipe in my book, The Pretty Dish, along with 150 other brand new recipes that I hope you're gonna love. 